so welcome learners last session we have discussed about the how to find out vector and how to so obtain uh, vector addition as well as vector subtraction okay today we will discuss about the product of vectors so there are two different methods uh, in which we can usually define the multiplication of two vectors first method is the scalar product and second one is the vector product we will see one by one the scalar product is also called as the dot product it is also called as dot product and suppose we have two vectors vector a and vector b so in scalar product it is represented by a bar dot b bar it is represented by a bar dot b bar and according to the definition a bar of the scalar product a bar dot b bar is equal to a b cos theta okay so this suppose this is vector a and this is vector b these two are making an angle theta with each, each other okay so what is a here in this definition a is the magnitude of vector a b is magnitude of vector b theta is angle between vector a and vector b okay so this is the simple definition of dot product and the result of uh, why this product is called a scalar product because the result of this product is always a scalar quantity and therefore it is called as scalar product or a dot product we will see different cases of this dot product with different angles so our first case suppose vector a and vector b both are parallel to each other so graphically we can show like this this is vector a and this is vector b so what will be the angle between these two when two vectors are parallel to each other the angle between these two vectors is always a zero so if theta is zero cos zero is one and therefore the result of dot product a bar dot b bar if we put value of cos zero equal to one or cos theta is equal to cos zero and which is one the result of this product is a b so when two vectors are parallel to each other the result of dot product is the product of magnitude of two vectors okay next case if two vectors are perpendicular to each other suppose vector a and vector b are perpendicular to each other this is vector a this is vector b so the angle between these two is 90 degree theta is 90 degree so cos 90 is 0 and therefore the result of dot product a bar dot b bar is equal to 0 so when two vectors are perpendicular to each other in that case the result of dot product is 0 our third case is that if two vectors that is this two vectors vector a and vector b are opposite to each other okay so this is my vector a and this is my vector b so how much is the angle between these two yes it is pi or 180 degree so cos pi is minus 1 and therefore the result of dot product of these two vectors a bar dot b bar it is equal to minus a b okay now we will see uh, the re what will be the result of dot product or scalar product of unit vectors Okay. 
so these are my x y z axis we are going to assume this is our x unit vector in x direction unit vector in y direction and this is unit vector in z direction so i want to find out the dot product of ax with x so from this diagram just tell me what is the angle between these two vectors this is the same vector so the angle between these two vectors is how much it is zero so this comes under our first case that means when these two vectors are parallel to each other so ax bar dot ax bar is equal to what product of magnitude of these two vectors so the magnitude of these two vectors is 1 so ax bar dot ax bar is equal to 1 similarly ay dot ay is also 1 az dot az is also 1 ok now next is we want to find out dot product of ax with ay so dot product of ax with ay so you can see the angle between these two vectors this is my ax bar this is my ay bar so the angle between these two vectors is 90 degree so when two vectors are perpendicular to each other its dot product is zero therefore ax bar dot producted with ay bar is equal to zero ay bar dot producted with az bar is also zero and ax bar dot producted with az bar is also equal to zero okay now suppose we have two vectors vector a is equal to ax ax bar plus ay ay bar plus az az bar and vector b is equal to bx ax bar plus by ay bar plus bz az bar and we want to find out its dot product so a bar dot b bar it is equal to we will put the value of a bar it is ax ax bar plus ay ay bar plus az az bar dot producted with bx ax bar plus by ay bar plus bz az bar we will expand this and after expansion we will get nine terms okay so our first term is ax bx ax bar dot producted with ax bar plus ax by ax bar dot producted with ay bar plus ax bz ax bar dot producted with az bar similarly fourth term will be ay bx ay bar dot producted with ax bar plus ay by ay bar dot producted with ay bar plus ay bz ay bar dot producted with az bar plus az bx az bar dot producted with ax bar plus az by az bar dot producted with ay bar plus az bz az bar dot producted with az bar so we have these nine terms out of these nine terms x bar dot x bar uh, sorry x bar dot x bar we know it is equal to 1 in the previous session only we have obtained x bar dot x bar is 1 ay bar dot ay bar is 1 and az bar dot az bar is 1 and remaining terms are equal to 0 and therefore the result of
result of this dot product is equal to a bar dot b bar is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. Okay. Now, we have one more concept is about the length of projection. Suppose we have two vectors, this is my vector A and this is my vector B. Okay, these two are making an angle theta with each other. I want to project this vector B on vector A. I want to project vector B on vector A. So, this portion is my length of projection. This portion is my length of projection. I will name this point as point C. This is suppose O. So, OC distance is my length of projection. So, from this graphical view only, we can say length of projection is equal to how much? Yes, it is equal to B cos theta. From this graphical representation only we can say this OC is equal to B cos theta. Okay. If I write this as B into 1 into cos theta, does it going to change the meaning of previous equation? No. Okay. Now, B into 1 into cos theta, if or B we can say it is magnitude of vector B is it right? It is the magnitude of vector B. One we know it is magnitude of unit vector okay, and theta is angle between these two. So, if I use here concept of dot product, we can use here concept of dot product and therefore, we can write rewrite this equation as B bar dot producted with unit vector in the direction of what? in the direction of A. In which direction? Unit vector we have to consider in the direction of A. So, the length of projection can be obtained by taking dot product of the vector which you want to project with the unit vector on which vector you want to project our vector. So, in our case, in this case, we want to project vector B uh, on vector A and therefore, we have taken dot product of vector B in the direction of vector A, unit vector in the direction of vector A. Okay. Next concept is about the vector projection. So, vector projection is nothing but length of projection multiplied by direction. Okay. So, length of projection we have with us it is b bar dot unit vector in the direction of A. So, direction we know on in which direction you want to project your vector B. So, in A in the direction of vector A we want to project our vector B and therefore, b bar dot A A bar multiplied by A A bar. Okay. We will solve one example based on the dot product concept. We have two vectors. Vector A, it is given as 5 ax bar plus 4 ay bar 
plus 3 a z bar and vector b is given as 2 a x bar plus 3 a y bar plus 4 a z bar and we have to find out find a bar dot b bar and angle between a bar and b bar okay so with the help of definition of dot product a bar dot b bar we can find out this dot product so we know a bar dot b bar is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z okay and we will put this value so 5 into 2 plus 4 into 3 plus 3 into 4 so the result is 34 okay now we want to find out angle between vector a and vector b so how to find angle between vector a and vector b so we have As per the definition of dot product, a bar dot b bar is equal to a b cos theta. Just now we have obtained this dot product. We will try to find, we will find out magnitude of vector a and magnitude of vector b and we can find out theta. So, magnitude of vector a is equal to under root of 5 square plus 4 square plus 3 square which is equal to under root. 50 magnitude of vector b is equal to under root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to under root 29 okay so the product of this a into b is equal to a bar we will put all these values so a bar dot b bar into this equation a b cos theta so a bar dot b bar is 34 we have obtained magnitude of vector a is root 50 magnitude of vector b is root 29 multiplied by cos theta so theta is equal to cos inverse of 34 divided by under root of 50 into root of 29 which is equal to 26.76 degree. Okay. So, today we will stop here. Next session we will discuss about the vector product.